So here we have the five steps of uh, this integration by substitution written out again. I'm not going to number steps, and I would recommend that you don't. I usually love numbering steps, but when you have bounds on these integrals, which we will get to later, it becomes confusing because we need one extra step and it's not at the end. It's like right in the middle. So I'm not going to number these on purpose, um, but we are going to use u sub on this first example because we have 2x times x squared minus 3 to the fifth. So that'd be a very complicated derivative because we'd have not only a product rule because we have x's times x's, but it would be a chain rule because we have more than x raised to the power 5. So we are going to use u sub anytime it looks like a product, a quotient, or a chain. So for sure we need it here. I'm going to first start by calling something u. So u is x with whatever is nearby that's getting manipulated. So I have two factors here. The first factor is 2x, and I have x squared minus 3, which is being raised to the fifth. So the factor that's being manipulated is this second factor. So I'm going to call u x squared minus 3. It's being manipulated because it's being raised to the fifth power. So our goal with this one is to make it look as simple as x to the fifth dx. Right? We're going to replace it with u's, and the whole goal of u substitution is to make the antiderivative as easy as possible. Because if we had x to the fifth dx, we would know to just add 1. We'd get 1 over 6, x to the sixth, plus c, and life would be good. So that's our goal here is to make it look as simple as that. It's just going to be written with u's in order to make that happen. So my first thing is picking out u to be the expression. There's my u to the fifth which is going to integrate just like x to the fifth. We just need to do some other steps before we're allowed to take the antiderivative. So you pick out which one is u. In this case, it's the second factor. The second step is to take the derivative of what you just called u. So a regular derivative. The derivative of x squared is 2x. The derivative of negative 3 is 0. So we just took the derivative of x squared minus 3. The only difference between this and a regular derivative is we're going to multiply both sides by dx to get du all by itself. All right. Now we're on to the substitution. So we did the u part. Now we're going to do the substitution part. I think this is the hardest step. Once we get beyond this, we are good to go. It's a basic antiderivative then. So the first part of substitution is figuring out what's happening to u. We already did that. We said we have u being raised to the fifth power. x squared minus 3 is our u, and that's being raised to the fifth. So we just subbed in for that whole second factor. And then what we have left is a 2x dx, which is perfect because we need a 2x dx in order to write du, since du is 2x dx. So just like over with our goal, we didn't do anything with the dx. It just said, hey, we're going to integrate with respect to one variable. We're going to integrate x with respect to x. We didn't do anything with it. We have our du that allows us to take the antiderivative, but we don't have to do anything with it. Now we're ready for a basic integral. We're going to take the antiderivative u to the fifth. So 5 plus 1 is 6. So we have 1, 6, u to the 6 plus k different constant of integration since we're in a different variable. But our final step is our question was in terms of x, so our answer is going to be in terms of x. I'm going to have 1, 6. I'm going to put a parentheses. We're going to put what u was in terms of x, and then we're going to go back to having a plus c. So u was x squared minus 3. So our antiderivative is going to be 1, 6 of x squared minus 3 raised to the 6 plus c.